All right, good evening. Today is November 14th, 2022, and this is your market update by Coach Avalos. Um, so I've got Spy on the screen, and Spy did not want my money today. I don't know why. So uh, it's a good move. It's a good day if you're into uh, shorting. So I want to show you a few things uh, that happened today with SPY and a few other stocks. So we knew there was gaps and this is the resistance line for SPY and it's just right around uh, 399.65. So I had an order ready to go after that and you can see right in here SPY just barely touched it. Okay, so one of the things that I do that's 399.65 so I set my buy at 401.50 so that I give it some room to come back down in case it it's a false breakout which it was it didn't trigger my order uh, I had another order here in case it fell it did not fall did not trigger the order because we have a lot of gaps going on now all over the place so if you're going to play either way my suggestion is that you look at your resistance lines and your support lines and make sure you're placing your orders right after um, those lines so that you don't get stuck with a false breakout and then it goes the other way all right and i appreciate you guys subscribing and i will continue to appreciate that it really helps the channel out okay so we had SPY, didn't take my orders, and now I go over to SPX, and I notice that we are in a rising wedge. Uh, still not out of resistance or support. And again, same thing here, right? We have a lot of gaps from this candle across. You see there is nothing holding it from going up, but it, apparently there was a lot of sellers here today, so uh, SPX couldn't make that move. Now. Let's come over to Apple. Apple is the same thing. I called out some gaps uh, yesterday in yesterday's uh, market update. And you can see here, Apple did not even get close. It's just like everything else, right? It met a lot of sellers right up in here. And you can tell that it had a lot of resistance because it ended up closing way down here. Okay, about 148. Uh, so keep an eye out with the rest of the stocks they're doing the same thing if we look at amazon amazon didn't take my order as well i had an order ready to go look at this big gap and had resistance as a matter of fact amazon actually is headed in a downtrend if you can see this first green candle and now you have a doji there uh, i think we see a downturn tomorrow unless somebody's going to buy a whole bunch of all this stuff here you go meta same thing uh, didn't make it didn't even get close to that gap and then we have Tesla which I had marked this off and now Tesla is doing the same thing it's actually in the downtrend so what I'm gonna do is just take my line here and I'm just going to mark it off on the daily and I'm gonna see if it continues to go down and I'm gonna watch it because I think we might see a run down uh, the bear showed up today um, let me give you a couple other um, stocks I was watching today. So SoFi, SoFi was headed on the way up. I didn't take a position with SoFi uh, because to me, it almost looked like it was being manipulated. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, if I go over to the one minute chart and I turn on my Heikinashi and I'm going to show you something that I personally use. And this is the one second chart, okay? And look at how perfect those resistance and support areas are. These are machines. This is when you know machines are buying uh, the stock. So look at how perfect that line is there. And then up here, uh, the green candles, how perfect all the buys and sales are. So I decided not to get in there because of that uh, same reason. Okay, the one I did take a position on today is Lockheed Martin so I did start sharding it and I'm gonna show you what I saw with Lockheed I'll turn the one minute on um, so you can see so Lockheed Martin's been in a downtrend here and I noticed this big gap and what I did is real simple um, if it didn't enter the gap I didn't jump into the trade 
but I did notice that it had an uptrend at the end. And when it broke that uptrend, I knew it was going to head straight into this box. And sure enough, it did. And here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take you over to the daily. And you see that Lockheed Martin has been in a rising wedge and it broke out. Okay. So I personally like to do swing trades. So I took a position out, pretty heavy position out today with um, Lockheed. And I did take profits on some of it at the end. And I did hold some for tomorrow. So if you're looking to short uh, stock Lockheed Martin, we've got it closing today at 462. So if I looked at the actual measured move here. I can tell you that Lockheed Martin potentially is going to head down to about 398. Okay. Maybe it'll do about 410 to 398. Okay. But definitely still is going to continue down. So uh, if you're looking to get into something that is headed down and you're bearish on that, that would be it right there. Now, everything else started following the market. Uh, if I come over to my swing list, you'll see. Of course, we have Chipotle, who's still doing well. They always do well. AutoZone did well today. Uh, and then, you know, Salesforce, of course. But everything started turning red. So that tells me that the market potentially is going to take a downturn tomorrow. So be very careful with your entries and watch out uh, how you enter. So if you don't understand how to enter, I've got some free courses here on YouTube. I've also got some that are only $9.99. And it'll save you a lot of money to understand how to get in and how to get out so you don't lose money. Uh, and I also have a watch list, okay? Now, if you head over there today, it's going to be 50% off if you want to jump on that watch list. And the watch list, I have a tutorial video. And I teach you how to use it and how to get into swing trades. And this is one right here because you can see that Lockheed Martin was turning down. So today, it was a nice profitable day, profitable day for me. Uh, so if you're interested, I'll leave links below, guys, and I appreciate your help, and I appreciate you hitting the like button and sharing this with people that you know that want to make some money and need the education, okay? Appreciate you and uh, wishing you a green day and a green week. See ya.